hold so many disturbing memories. It makes me feel sick. I actually feel sick being here. At first you feel shame that you don't want to talk about it at all, then you feel anger, and I think then you begin to get over it properly. Campaigners gather today to call for an independent police inquiry into child abuse at children's homes in Islington more than 20 years ago. The Home Office says it's committed to investigating historic cases of abuse, but those who claim they've seen the suffering firsthand say more needs to be done. We want to make an impact because for many, many years survivors in Islington have not had a voice, and we want them to have a voice. We all want to have a voice. I was a whistleblower of the Islington Child Abuse Scam. There's still many, many aspects of it that have never been investigated. I think until it's properly investigated, I don't think there can be any closure for any survivor until there's a proper investigation. Previous police investigations have dismissed claims of a paedophile ring operating in Islington, but campaigners say more evidence has emerged over the years. In a statement, Islington Council said they took allegations of abuse, including historical allegations, very seriously. They said anyone who believes that they were abused at an Islington children's home should contact them or the police. Sarah Harris, BBC London News, Islington.